Welcome to the Professor English podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice English by using the word barely, which can be used to mean a little. This is a listening and speaking exercise. So, if you want to improve your English listening, your English speaking, and your accuracy while improving your vocabulary, in other words, the whole enchilada, you have found the right video. There are no long explanations, just English practice. Practice listening, practice speaking. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with these exercises, you can always see the video version on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now, let's just jump right in and start practicing English. Here is a simple sentence in regular spoken English. Just repeat after me. Lucy was hungry. Lucy was hungry. How would you make a why question with that sentence? Lucy was hungry. Lucy was hungry. Why? Why was she? Why was she hungry? Why was she hungry? Here is the answer. She didn't eat today. She didn't eat. She did not eat. She didn't eat. She didn't eat. She didn't eat. She didn't eat today. She didn't eat today. She was hungry because she didn't eat today. She was hungry because she didn't eat today. She didn't eat today. Didn't eat. Didn't eat. Didn't eat. Didn't eat. Didn't eat. She didn't eat today. She didn't eat today. She was hungry because she didn't eat today. We can put the word barely in front of eat to change the idea. She was hungry because she barely ate. She was hungry because she barely ate. So we, first we have she didn't eat, which means she ate zero. But if we say she barely ate, that means she ate a little bit, a little bit of food, just a little, not very much. She was hungry because she barely ate, because she barely ate, because she barely ate today. She was hungry because she barely ate today. She ate some food, but just a little bit of food, not enough, not very much. She barely ate. She barely ate today. She was hungry because she barely ate today. All right. Fantastic job. Let's try another example here. Mark didn't see the entire movie. This is a situation. Mark didn't see the entire movie. Let's make a why not question. Why not see the entire movie? Why didn't why didn't he? 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 Why didn't he see? Why didn't he see the entire movie? Why didn't he see the entire movie? Here is the reason the movie started when he got an emergency phone call and had to leave. That's pretty long, but try to say the whole sentence. The movie started when he got, when he received, when he got an emergency phone call. Got an emergency. Got an emergency. Got an emergency. He got an emergency phone call. The movie started when he, when he, when he got, when he got an emergency phone call. The movie started when he got an emergency phone call and had to leave. He had to leave because he got an emergency phone call. He received an emergency phone call. He got an emergency phone call and had to leave. He didn't see the entire movie because the movie started when he got an emergency phone call and had to leave. He didn't see the entire movie because the movie started when he got an emergency phone call and had to leave. If you say it like this, it sounds like he didn't even see one second of the movie. If we use the word barely in front of started, Let's see how it changes. The movie barely started. The movie barely started when he had to leave. Barely started. It started a little. It started. So maybe he saw one or two minutes or 10 minutes of the film. Just a 
very little part of the film. The, the movie barely started when he had to leave. The movie barely started when he had to leave. He saw a little part of the movie. The movie barely started when he got an emergency phone call. When he got an, when he got an, when he got an emergency phone call. The movie barely started when he got an emergency phone call. The movie barely started when he got an, when he got an, when he got an emergency phone call. The movie barely started when he got an emergency phone call and had to leave. All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find these exercises helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, Professor English ESL Class, so that you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another sentence. John left home. John left home. He left home. He left home. That means he left from his parents' house, his mother and father's house. He left home. Let's add an even though statement, which if you've seen my other videos, you already know means doesn't matter, not important, who cares, not important to the story, even though he was very young. So it's not important he was young, doesn't matter he was very young. He left the home of his mother and father. He left home. Even though he was very young, he left home. Like, wow, the, you know, he's young, but he left. Doesn't matter, not important, he was very young. He left home. Uh, let's ask a when leave home question. When did he? When did he? When did he? When did he leave home? When did he leave? When did he leave? When did he leave home? When did he leave home? When did he leave home? Here is the answer. He left home when he was 18. He left home when he was 18. Let's put the word barely after the word was. He left home when he was barely 18. Okay, now barely means a little. So by adding barely, we understand that he was 18 and maybe a few months, so 18 years and a few months, or even a few weeks or a few days. He was barely 18. That means 18 and one or two days, or 18 and one or two weeks, or maximum maybe one or two months. 18 and a few weeks, a few months. Maybe it could mean closer to 17 than 18. Closer to 17 than 18. Barely 18. He left home even though he was very young. He was barely 18. So he was 18 and a few weeks, 18 and a few months, 18 and a few days. Closer to 17 than 18. He was barely 18. He left home even though he was very young. He was barely 18. He was barely 18. All right, fantastic job. Let's try another example. Lucy and Mike went on vacation. Can you repeat that? Lucy and Mike went on, went on, went on vacation, went on vacation, went on, went on, went on vacation. Lucy and Mike went on vacation. Lucy and Mike went on vacation. Lucy and Mike went on vacation, went on vacation. Let's make a how possible go on vacation. And we'll use the word could to mean possible. How could they? How could they? How could they go on vacation? How was that possible? How could they go? How could they go on vacation? How could they go on vacation? It's very expensive. How could they go on vacation? It's very expensive. It is very expensive. How could they go on vacation? It's very expensive. Here is the answer. They saved money all year. They saved money all year. They saved, they saved all year. They had enough money. They saved all year. They had enough money. 
So they had sufficient money. Now, if we put the word barely in front of the word had, they barely had enough money. They saved all year. They barely had enough money. They barely had enough money. That means they paid for the vacation and they just had a little extra money after that. A very small amount of money after that. If the vacation costs $1,000, maybe after they paid for the vacation, they only had $20 or $30, something very small left. They barely had enough money to pay for the vacation. They saved all year and they barely had enough money for vacation. They saved all year and they barely had enough money for vacation. All right, you did an amazing job today and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. Remember, practice makes perfect. So you should repeat this exercise several times, not just so that you can remember how to use the word barely, but also to improve your listening and speaking skills. It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.